Welcome to the 31st Insight Awards. This presentation has been prepared for you by the Insight Judging Subcommittee, and it is called How to Enter the 31st Insight Awards. Um, it mainly works you through the um, award force platform uh, that we're working on with some screenshots and information uh, for you. We're going to have a very quick rundown about the Insight Awards. We'll talk about how to enter. Uh, we'll run through the fees and then there will be some uh, links and emails um, if you need more information. So about it, the Insight Awards, this is the 31st year. We do promote um, excellence and innovation here in WA. We are running the 31st Insight Awards um, under two streams. And the one that we're currently opening up is the products, services, product uh, project categories, including startups and students. Um, the honorary awards, which are the Dr. Mel Bryce uh, Tech Company of the Year Award, the PSE Entrepreneur of the Year Award and the Achiever um, of the Year Award will open in later in April and we will provide more information with you for you in due course. But so this presentation deals with the current stream that we're running. Um, and it includes categories such as the startup category, social impact, uh, transformative solutions, innovating government, research and innovation, which includes both industry and postgraduate um, tertiary student projects, um, and the Peter Fillory um, undergraduate uh, student uh, project of the year. Um, the the uh, um, the phases are two, there's basically two phases in um, this awards line. Um, and the first one is the where you actually prepare your, sub, your submission. There is then an online judging process whereby we select the phase one finalist. And those finalists, then if you become successful, will go through to a second phase where we will be doing uh, an online virtual presentation. Um, and at the end of that, we will do the award recognition of the winners, the winners and merit award winners. As usual, we actually have the pathways, which are the National I Awards, the Digital Disruptors Awards, um, and the Epicto Awards. We do showcase uh, WA innovation and excellence with pride, um, because we know that sometimes being the most remote city and quite a large uh, state in Australia can be challenging. Um, and so if you look at uh, some of the testimonials there, TerraVision Nathan Clifford was saying that exposure we received to the larger West Australian IT industry was exceptional. This has led to some really positive organic business leads as a result. And it's those kind of things that we would want to not only showcase, but we want to give back to our innovators um, as, as positive flow-on effects of entering the Inside Awards. The timelines are set out here. So the entries are opening um, on Monday, the 14th of February, and you have until Thursday, the 14th of April to submit. Uh, the recommendation is not to wait until the 12th, the 13th or the 14th, but try and get it done the week before um, and have someone review it for you. The phase one judging, which is the online judging phase, uh, will happen uh, shortly thereafter and will run until about the 12th of May. Um, and we then announce the finalists during the week of 16 to 20 May uh, 2022. Um, and then if you can put in your diary that around the time of the 30th May to around the 15th of June, we will be doing the, um, uh, the phase two, the virtual uh, judging process. Um, and then during July, we will have an award ceremony. More details will follow um, in due course. So if you're not registered to on our uh, to our newsletter, go to our website, register for, you know, sign up for the newsletter, and then we'll keep you posted on all the developments and so much more. So one of the key dates then to make sure that you have it in your diary is the 14th of April. Uh, the entries close at midnight. As I said, do not wait until the 12th or the 13th because it actually takes, it doesn't take that long, but it takes more time if you don't have that much time to think about it.
So how to enter. So the next shots will be around, will be screenshots around um, the process. So we, um, the whole award submission process and the, the judging process is managed by the awards force platform. Um, and the link to enter is um, on the screen. So you have to go to the wahitainsight.awardsplatform.com um, platform and then um, you will either register or log in. So if you've previously registered, um, then you will be able to use the same login and password. Um, if you've forgotten your password, reset it and it will go back to your email. Um, there is a process for new users to, ver to be verified. Um, so remember, it is a third party platform. So depending on uh, security, etc., there may be verification if you um, are resetting your password or haven't um, entered for a little while. It will take you then to a home page. And so this home page has got some of the key information for you, but it also has the space where it says here, start the entry. So um, you do have the option to duplicate uh, entries. So sometimes people, and we, we often uh, encourage people to enter in more than one entry. So you can, you can enter into up to three um, categories is, you can actually duplicate the information, but just remember if you do choose to actually enter into more than one category, the categories aren't all the same. Even when we ask for the same kind of high level information, we really are looking to see at the, you know, for instance, if it's transformative solutions, why is it, why are you transforming? If it's social impact, what is the, 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 the positive social impact that you are making? So you can also download, um, your entry and I would recommend that you do that and get someone to read through it to make sure that you've really answered the questions. You kept it simple enough, straightforward enough. You're not, you know, your, your statements are backed up by proof, etc. Then when you uh, started an entry, it will get you to pick down um, or drop down on terms of the category you select the category and once you actually um, select the category it will on the right hand side give you some the, the main information that we need to see um, in that particular category you also need to give um, a name for your entry and so here again i would suggest just take a bit of time and think about don't just make it um, abc company um, make it abc for improving X, Y, Z, or a ABC for transforming the whatever sector. It's, it's quite important to think about the title and, and my examples aren't even that innovative, but at least you have to think about that this is the first thing that your judges see. And this is how they will remember it because um, you, it's quite a competitive um, process and there are a number of entries so you always have to think about how you stand out and um, so once you've selected the drop down and you've created your title then you save to start your entry and then when you go back in later your entries will actually be there and you can progress it um, as necessary so then you will see that there are basically a number of tabs at the top of the page uh, which includes details, criteria, supporting documentation, your team, joint submission, referees, and media. So the information, um, some of it is optional. Um, some of it, if it's um, you have to complete it, then it will actually stop you from progressing um, or submitting. Um, so um, it's important to put in your details. It's important to put in your details correctly. So um, your ABN number um, is uh, required for companies and for instance, in the startup company uh, where we have a cut of date um, to be recognized as a startup, it's important that that ABN shows that your company has been registered on or after the 1st of January, 2019. Um, then we go into the criteria. The criteria are fairly well set out. Um, it is a short overview, an overview of your organization. The criteria then is specific you, if you, to the category that you selected, um, and it has a maximum uh, number of words per criteria. You could see the, the drop, the, the box that you will fill in, and then we've got uh, allowed for some helpful hints on the right-hand side. 
Um, attach your supporting information. So if you've got testimonials, um, uh, statistics, brochures in terms of showing your product, videos, add these on. Um, I would recommend that avoid in this particular section your general sales brochures. This should really be focused on the pitch. Um, and look, this is a pitch to peers to recognize your excellence and, and, and what makes you stand out. So think of, select those carefully um, and attach those um, supporting information. Um, then if you are um, entering as a team, uh, there is a space where you would add in your uh, team member and contrib um, contributors to information. The ad record, you can add as many records as you need. Um, if it's not relevant, uh, you can skip this section. Uh, the same with the joint submission. Just note that with the innovating government category, um, if you are not a government agency or a local government, that you need to show that there is a formal collaboration. So um, in your information um, in the categories, make sure that you actually show us that there what the, the collaboration is. Um, and going back, that is you would uh, attach that collaboration in the supporting information. So in terms of referees, this is often an area which creates quite a bit of heart, near, near miss heartache for our entrants. Um, so firstly, referees need to be independent. They can't be a project manager or um, an advisor. Then they do need to. There are some, some um, allowances for students. But try and get as independent referees to uh, that are as independent. So a customer, someone that's checked it, a user. Um, and then really make sure when you ask them. So we've had in the past referees that don't respond, or when we check with them, you, ha you have not necessarily asked them for permission to, to add them as a referee. Um, or they're not allowed to give referee um, information out because of their position. So please make sure this is important because our lead judges will check this because it's part of the diligence that we apply in our rigorous process um, in deciding who our finalists are. So the media and marketing space, we use this um, to promote um, the entrance in the awards program. So this is here where you can bring in your marketing and your social media information. Um, so feel free to add this on, add some quirk, quirky information, things that's, that makes you stand out uh, from the crowd again. So once you finalize your submission, so you've got before finalizing your submission, you can save uh, and next, you can save and close, you can preview, um, but you can also come back at it later. There is also a copy uh, feature, but once you've been finalized, submit your entry, and then um, it will ask you uh, to provide your credit card information. Um, and um, with, if you have issues with a credit card or you need an invoice, please touch base with um, the chief judge as per the chief judge information so that we can um, make sure that you get an invoice and your submission can be um, reviewed. Also note that there may be some merchant fees um, applicable and those are all set up. So with respect to the fees, they are the same as for the last year. And the startup category is $160 uh, per entry uh, plus GST. The other categories are all 375 plus GST per entry um, and the students do not have any fee. Please note that merchant fees may apply. Um, and to how do you enter? You enter through the uh, Wahita Inside Awards platform.com. Um, and if you need more information, uh, go to the website, which is insideawards.org.au, or send an email to the chief judge um, at the insideawards.org.au. Um, there are more than one of us that will monitor that email address. Um, and if you can uh, touch base, one of us will get back to you as soon as possible. We are celebrating 31 years of WA Technician, and we're hoping to see that uh, the WA um, innovation will continue to um, 
in a way uh, to to inspire us apologies so uh we wish you all of the best and we look forward to receiving your entries in due course have a lovely day